Welcome to this Tech Tip Tuesday from CISA2. I'm Frank Devereaux, and today I'm going to share a little trick that I learned the other day when I was trying to protect and hide some of these Google Sheet tabs. Now, I had a, a, a friend ask me, can I make it so that these tabs can only be seen by certain teams or certain groups of people? And the answer is no, actually. Google will not allow that. You can protect it so that people, only certain people can edit certain tabs, but if you want to hide the data from this tab onto this one, then, you know, from people who can see this one, that's not possible. But I did figure out a workaround, and I'm going to share that using the import range feature. Now, it's going to take a little bit of work. You're going to have to create some different sheets. So I named a sheet for the sixth grade team. I named a, a new sheet for the admin team. And I'm going to import the data from there. And, if, and it, it will keep on adding data. So let's say I have a Google form and I'm continuing to add data to this. It will continue to pull it. So it is nice in that sense. And once I create, and let's say I want all the data in one sheet, but then I want each team to be able to see the data from that tab. And here's how you do it. So if you look here, now once again, it pulled all the data, but the formatting, I'd have to reformat it. So just so you know, this formatting, the, the bold and the blue uh, highlights isn't there, and some of the drop downs aren't there. So you can see that the uh, kind of some of the formatting is lost, but all the data is there. And this is how I did it. So I took here and I went to this and I clicked uh, a formula and I, I typed in equals and then import range. And then I told it the spreadsheet I wanted it from. And then I told it the tab I wanted and then uh, the range, which I just picked A1 through ZZ. So that would be as much data and it will keep on expanding as, as large as I make my sheet. So it will look something like this. So we'll try it here. So in this top cell, I'm going to type in equals and then import range down here. And then because it's text, I'm going to hit a quotation mark here. And then I'm going to paste the spreadsheet URL. And I'm going to close the, the uh, quotation marks and hit comma. Now I'm going to type in the exact name of the tab. So I'm going to type in admin team. So I'm going to, and because it's also text, I'm going to put quotation marks. And because it has a space in there, I'm going to put a single quotation mark. And I'm going to go admin, admin, if I can spell, team, that's it. There we go. And then I'm going to, uh, then I'm going to close the parent, single parentheses, uh, and then I'm going to hit a, an apostrophe, I mean an exclamation point to tell it that I'm ready to put the range, which I'm going to do A1 to ZZ, and then I am going to end quotation marks and then hit enter, and it's going to load the data, and there you have it. And now this sheet I can share with just the admin team. And this team I can share just with the sixth grade team. And as I update my spreadsheet, or if they're filling out Google Forms, then it will automatically update, and then theirs will update automatically. You'll see here if I go to the admin team here, and I put in new info and hit enter, then when I come here, you're seeing that I will have new info on there. So there you have it, import range to hide and protect uh, sheets that only certain teams can be able to view. Hope you enjoy that, let me know.